Hey, Midwest Fun Page. Midwest Jim here. This is some video footage that was shot about three years ago in 2019. In fact, it was the last footage that we shot in the park before the new year. The next footage you'll, you'll see, you'll see Midwest Joe showing you an odd thing that they put up showing the Catwoman's whip in a third location. This is all footage that was shot in the 2019 season, right at the end. So this would be holiday in the park. Midwest Joe here, and we have an interesting little piece of advertisement here at Six Flags St. Louis. This is for the new uh, Catwoman whip that's gonna go in, but notice the positioning in the picture. This is the ninja, this is the coverage section for the mine train, and notice where this is. So it looks like it might actually go here, right by the ninja in the mine train, possibly just on the other side of it. Initially, it was suspected to go in right where the or right where the go track course is, but now this casts doubt on that. It might actually be going here instead. So this was the end of 2019 season. We want to go on one last ride on the Ninja before we would say bye to the park until they opened again. But what we didn't know is that th there was a virus that was going to hit the world really hard and we'd be stuck inside our houses and not able to see our friends and not able to go to Six Flags and not able to ride roller coasters. Sad times. We never went to the park in 2020. We wanted to play it safe, and so did a lot of other people. So sometime, I believe, after Fright Fest, we got an email stating that our season passes have been extended to the 2021 season. Funny story about this. This is the first time we went through anything like this. Temperature screen, um, anything where they make sure you put your mask on. I was so nervous. I was really nervous, man. When I was shooting that video before, I was just like kind of freaked out, excited, anxious. Um, I hit the slow motion button when I filmed this. Now, I can't speed it up anymore. I don't, don't, don't know why, but this is our first steps going to the park. First time in a year. So they had us walk through this tent and I guess it scanned our temperature and then we got a thumbs up and a wave from the, the lady monitoring and then we got in the park. At first we saw this sign and we knew we were in for something special because they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Wow, 50 years. Wow, this park has been here 50 years? You gotta be kidding me. Crazy. What in the world was that? I guess like a little, a little girl's stomach is rumbling. Listen to that. Like I said before, we didn't go for the 2020 season. And we have not seen the new entrance. This was our first look. The ticket booths are gone. And this arch that has a very pretty cool thing up top. That is a Screaming Eagle car. It's very special. It means a lot. It uh, screams Six Flags St. Louis.
hadn't been in the park, or we haven't been in the park since January 1st, 2020, New Year's Day of the season of 2019, the very last day. Let's see what they got. What's different? All right, I see something different. This camera's got a wider lens, so I gotta get my finger out of the shot. But we named that finger because he showed up a bunch of times. His name is Midwest Finger. Make sure you give us a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the page if you're not already subscribed. But every time you see Midwest Finger, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment. And if you're new here, please subscribe. This is some raw footage from the first day back. Since 20 was a washout. I do not believe they announced the new place where they're going to put Catwoman's Whip, but we knew that. Hey, Midwest Fun Page, just got off the bus. Guess who rode the bus with us? The CEO of Six Flags, sat right next to Midwest Joe. What's his name? Mike Spanos. Mike Spanos. Did you know that, Joe? I didn't know it was him at the time. You never know who you're going to meet at six months. Please like and subscribe. We will be recapping our videos from the 2021 season. So make sure to hit that notification bell. So you know every single time we post a new video.